Hello, boys and girls. My name is Larry. How are you? Today, we are going to study this book. Can you read the title of this book with me? Let's read it together. How Lizard Lost His Colors. This is a lizard. Do you know what lizard is in Korean? Domabem. Domabem. Or in English, lizard. Now, he lost his colors. Lost. He can't find. Does he have many colors or one color? This lizard only has one color. What color is it? Is this lizard green? No. Is this lizard red? No, he isn't. Is this lizard yellow? Yes, this is a yellow lizard. Now, this story is retold by Evelyn Davidson, and the drawing or the illustration is by Ellen Gigenbach. Let's look at the next page. Are you ready? Oh, this lizard is very different. This lizard has many different colors. Can you name all of the colors? Let's try. Let's start with the body of the lizard. What color is that? Green. So this is a green lizard, but he has many other colors. Let's name these colors. What is this color here? Hmm. Red? No. Blue? Yes, this color is blue. What color is this? Is it green? No. This color is yellow. Hmm. This color looks kind of like my shirt. This color is pink. Pink. And this one, hmm, looks almost blue, but it's not blue. This is difficult. This color is purple. Purple. Let's go over the colors again. We have green, blue, yellow, pink, and purple. Okay, where is this lizard? Where is this domabem? Hmm, is he in the city? No. Is he in the forest with all the big trees? Is this a tree? No. This is a cactus. Do you know where you can find a cactus? Hmm. Let's look some more. This is sand or a sand dune. D U N E. Sand dune. Now you can find a sand dune at a beach. Does this look like a beach to you? No, it's not a beach. This is a desert or samak. Samak or desert. 
This is where the lizard lives. He lives in this desert. Now, look at this sentence here. A traditional Navajo tale. Navajo are people native to North America. They are American Indians. And tail is different than this tail. This is spelled T-A-I-L. This is T-A-L-E. This tale means story. S-T-O-R-Y, story. So this is a story. Are you ready for the next page? Let's get started with reading this story. Okay, let's read and then we'll look at this picture. You ready? Get your reading glasses on. Here we go. Long ago, lizard had beautiful colors. Lizard was fat. He was lazy too. We can see here, this lizard has a big belly, a big belly. He is fat. Why whale? Why is he fat? Because he is lazy. What does lazy mean? It means he doesn't do anything. If you are lazy, maybe you sit on the couch every day. No study, no sports, no playing with friends, nothing. So if you're lazy, you too can get fat. So don't be lazy. Now, this lizard had beautiful colors. Beautiful means very nice, or we can say lovely, okay, beautiful. And long ago means a time in the past. A time in the past, far in the past. Not today, not tomorrow, but many, many days ago. Now, do you remember what this is? Check one, check two, and check three. We have three kinds of, very good, cactuses. Okay, and they are different styles, different way they look. And do you remember what this is called? Very good. This is a sand dune. A dune is a kind of hill. A hill like that. Okay, and we already went over the colors, so let's read the next page. Are you ready? Are your reading glasses on? Here we go. Okay. Lizard like to lie in the sun. He was proud of his beautiful colors. Hmm. He liked to lie. Lie. You might lie in your bed. Usually we lie on our backs. Usually. So this lizard liked to lie on his back sometimes on his belly, with the sun right here. The sun. And do you think it is hot or cold here? Hmm. Is there snow? No. I think it is very hot here. This lizard, or this Domabem was very proud of his beautiful colors. 
What does proud mean? It means to feel very happy about yourself. So maybe if you do very well on a test, you feel proud. Maybe you make something. You draw a picture, a beautiful picture. How do you feel? You feel proud. You feel very good about yourself. Now, we remember the names of these cactus, but in Korean, sun in jung. Sun in jung. Okay, my pronunciation a little bit difficult, but cactus or sun in jung. Sun in jung. Let's look at the next picture. Ooh, we have a new animal. Here's our lizard or our doma bem. He is on, what is this? A rock. A very big rock. Let's read. Do you have your reading glasses? <clears throat> One day, lizard was lying on a rock. Ah, oh, right here. Coyote saw a li saw a lizard. He wanted to eat lizard. Coyote pushed the rock. This is coyote. Now, coyote is kind of like a dog, and he lives in very warm or hot weather, such as the desert. He lives in samak, samak. So the lizard was lying here on the rock. Coyote wants to eat. He eats lizards. Do you eat lizards? I don't eat lizards. So, but he loves to eat lizard. So he wants to. But how is he going to get lizard into his mouth? Hmm. What did Coyote do? Pushed. Pushed. He pushed the rock. And now lizard is going to roll down the hill, or roll down the sand dune. Okay? Coyote is very hungry. Arr, 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 arr. Let's see if Coyote eats lizard. Oh, no. <gasps> Let's read the story and find out what happened. Lizard did not fall off. Whew. The rock rolled down the hill. Lizard rolled down the hill too. The rock rolled on top of lizard. Lizard was stuck. Hmm. Did coyote eat lizard? Yes or no? No, he did not eat lizard. So the rock rolled down the hill. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. And lizard stayed on the rock. So lizard, ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Maybe the lizard has a very difficult headache now. Rolled down the hill, and the, ro the rock rolled on top of the lizard. That means lizard is now here, under the rock. Do you think that hurts? I think so. But he is still alive. So that's it for this section. Come back and we'll find out what happened to Lizard in part two. I'll see you soon.